Hello all, I am Rajanisha Chandran. Welcome back to another video of Engineering Graphics. So, those who have viewed the previous video, you know that how to project a line with a given traces. In this video, we are going to learn another problem with the given traces. So, the question you can see in your screen right now. The projectors drawn through the endpoints of a line AB are 1 ton meter millimeter apart and those drawn through its endpoint are at a distance of 50 mm. The line A is 20 mm below HP and is in front of VP. The top and front views of the line are inclined at an angle of 45 degree and 30 degree. Draw the projections and obtain the true inclinations of the line. So the question is given that the the projectors drawn through input, the projectors drawn through the traces of a line are 1 ton mm apart and those drawn through its end points are 50 mm apart that we have marked. The point A is 20 mm below HP and in front of VP. The top and front views of the line. Now that it is the top and the front views of the line. The top view of the line is inclined at an angle 30 degree, so it will be beta, and the front view of the line is inclined at an angle 45 degree, so it is a so, the given data has been mentioned. So, in the previous video, we have learned that whenever the uh, projectors through traces are given, we have to start from their point. So, you can draw a projector like this, and at a distance of 1 ton, you can draw another projector. This is our XY line. So, since this is a projector through HT and this is a projector through VT, we know that this will be our HT dash and this will be our vertical trace. Now the point A is given as 20 mm below. How can we locate the point in 20 mm below? If you want to locate the point in 20 mm below, you have to draw the or you have you need to have the projector through here, but it is not given. So at this moment we cannot use this and this. Now it is given that alpha and beta. Alpha is 45 and beta is there. What is alpha? We know that A dash, B dash, HT dash, VT dash will always like the same thing, right? AB, HT, VT will always like the same thing. What is alpha? It is the project, it is the angle of front view. What is front view? It is A dash, B dash. So alpha means it is the angle of front view, A dash, B dash. And we know that A dash, B dash is A dash, B dash, HT dash, VT dash. So, A dash, B dash, HT dash, VT dash will be lying at an angle. But we don't know A dash, we don't know B dash, but we know HT dash. So, from HT dash, if we are able to draw a line at an English of 45 like this or like this, in this direction or in this direction, that line will contain the points A dash, B dash and B T dash. Why? Because the front view is in front of the angle 45 degree. And it is know that the point A is below. So this line will contain the point A dash. So if you are drawing 45 degree in this direction, the point A will be above. So that cannot be back. And so from HT, HT dash at an inclination of 45 degree, you can draw a line like this. Which means this will be our VT dash and this line will contain the endpoints A dash B dash. Hope you all of you all have understood. Because the inclination of A dash, B dash, H T dash, V T dash is known as alpha. The same thing can be repeated with the beta. Why? Beta means it is the inclination of A, B, H T and V T. We know V T. So from V T, we can draw a line at an inclination of 30 degree either in this direction or in this direction. But since it is given that the point is A is in front, we can draw in this direction. So from VT at an inclination of beta is equal to 30 degree, we can draw another line. That line will intersect with this projector. So that will be our VHT. So we have HT, VT dash. Now, now it is a very simple thing, the same thing. At a distance of 20, we can draw a line. That line will intersect here. So that will be our A dash. We can draw a projector like this. So this will be our A. At a distance of 50, we can draw another projector. So this will be our B. And this will be our B dash. 
So we have obtained the projected z dash v dash as well as a. Now, whenever you have the two projections z dash v dash and a b, you can complete the answer by utilizing trapezoidal method. That means, sir, take this much value, take this distance, sir, from the vertical from here. So that will be our m. Theta and phi works. Hope all of you have understood this problem.